I'm feeling a little loopy. What's good, Power Director peeps? Another Tablet Tuesday has fallen upon us, and today I'm gonna bless you all with the love and majesty that is the animated loop using the Power Director video editor app. If you've been looking for a way to make an animated loop, I want you to put hashtag animated loop in the comment section below. Here we are in the Power Director video editor app. Animated loops show the same animation over and over again. They can be chained together to serve as a continuous background of a video of any length. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make an animated loop for your videos. Let's get animated. Let's talk about shooting the scene. You wanna shoot the scene so that your subject is in the same position at the beginning and end of the take. That way, when you place the same clip back to back, there's a seamless transition between the two clips. After you shoot the scene, you wanna bring the clip into the timeline. So let's go ahead and go to media. And let's go to videos and we got a little video here. We're going to tap on that and we're going to tap on the plus sign to add it to the timeline. Next, you want to trim the video to the frame where the subject is in the correct position. So we'll tap on the clip and we'll trim this in a little bit by holding down this little green node and trimming it in. And that should be good right there. Then you want to trim the end of the video clip to the frame where the subject is in the same position as the first frame of the video. Now, that's going to be helpful because when you chain everything together, the first frame and the last frame need to be the same. So I'm going to tap on the clip. I'm going to tap on the green node and I'm going to trim this in. I think that might be pretty good there. So I'm gonna let go here. I'm gonna go back to the first frame. Now what I'm looking at here is there's a little bitty piece of orange kind of hanging off one of these little things off of these orange slices. And I'm looking at that to be the frame that I wanna trim it to, to match the first frame. And I'm gonna move this forward and you see that same little hanging little piece of orange sliver right there is at the beginning and it's at the end. So it's pretty close to the same position. So the next thing that you want to do is duplicate the clips. Duplicating the clips is really easy. You can tap on the clip to activate it. You want to tap on the edit icon. And then you want to tap on duplicate. And what it does is it places the exact same clip behind the first clip in the timeline. Now you need to fine tune the clip. So what I mean by that is, let's go ahead and tap on back. We need to see and make sure that this little orange sliver that I was talking about is at the same place at the end of the first clip and at the beginning of the second clip. So right now, if I tap on the second clip, we'll see where it begins. And you see everything moved over a little bit, which means that on the second clip, that little orange sliver is a little bit more to the left. So if I tap on the first clip, it shows the end of that clip, which shows that that little orange sliver is a little bit over to the right. So I need to actually trim this down a little bit more so that those two little orange slivers match up when I tap on each one of these things. You see it keeps moving a little bit over and over again. So what we need to do to fine tune it is we need to stretch out our timeline so that we can edit frame by frame. So if you place two fingers on the timeline and stretch them out, you'll stretch out your timeline and you just want to keep doing that until you can stretch it out no more. So now we know that we're frame by frame. So if I tap on this one, tap on the first one, we see where that little orange sliver is. We tap on the second one and we see that it's moved over. Right? So let's tap on the first one and let's trim this down a little bit so that that little orange sliver is a little bit more to the left. So I'm gonna place my finger on this little, I'm gonna tap on the first clip. I'm gonna place my finger on that node and I'm gonna move this over. Now let's try it again. Tap on the second clip and the first clip. And they're almost perfect right now. It's just a little bit over to the left. 
And if I can move this back over a little bit, then it'll be perfectly lined up. So you can go ahead and bring your timeline back down and stretch it back down. It's pretty good there. Play it back again. That looks really good. Like I said, you see that slight jump, but when you produce it, it's gonna be all good, baby. Now, once it's trimmed how you like it, you can add duplicate clips to make the animation even longer. Just tap on one of these clips, tap on edit, tap on duplicate, it'll add another one. So you can keep adding them back to back to back now that you got it trimmed how you want and make it as long as you need it to be. So let's tap on back. And basically it's a wrap because that's how you make an animated loop using the PowerDirector Video Editor app. If you decide that you like what the Power Director Video Editor app can do and you want to go ahead and get a copy of it, I'll leave a link in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.